There's something going on there. And we've replicated that just throwing, you know, sodium beta hydroxybutyrate into a hippocampal brain slice preparation under different levels of, you know, things that stimulate seizures, like measuring seizures in a, in a slice. With like the orthodromic population, uh, you can stimulate and measure the orthodromic population spike of the neurons like uh, firing back. And then you can decrease the amplitude of that over time and essentially just silence seizures in a slice. And at the same time, you're making that hippocampal brain slice more metabolically resilient. You could throw different agents at it that would be neurodegenerative or, you know, uh, hyper excitable and it will protect it under the context of various neurotoxins. So, uh, so that, I think that, that really interested me. So the early observations, and then I was completely unaware of all this literature in my postdoc. And then when I started delving into it, I was like, I have to change the trajectory of my career to do, you know, to, to just under, but I'm going to do it in an innovative way. I'm going to study the ketogenic diet, but also in parallel or in tandem, or maybe in some cases exclusively, just delve into what is the most efficacious form of exogenous ketone we can use and how can we, can it augment the therapeutic efficacy of a ketogenic diet? Like there's a lot to unpack here and nobody was doing it at the time. You've obviously experimented a lot with a ketogenic diet yourself. I mean, when did you first try a ketogenic diet? Like the clinical ketogenic diet where I got the little cardio check meter, which was super expensive at the time, I would say 2009, I started actually checking ketones and, uh, and the cardio, they still have this cardio check meter. I was meter. using the Abbott one. Yeah. Precision Abbott, Extra. The precision, I got that later. I don't even think that might've been out yet, <laughs> but I got that soon after because the cardio check actually did like your HDL and like triglycerides yeah. and things. It was a little bit, we compared it to, uh, we also had like an, a lab assay, like an ELISA assay. Yep. So yeah, we were comparing it to it. Uh, yeah. And then we got uh, the, the Precision Extra by Abbott. And then I remember I bought something like $10,000 $10, strips, of strips. I was about to say yeah. the strips were <laughs> five to $10 each yes. at the time. I found, uh, I bought them in bulk and I yeah, think- Yeah, you hooked me up at one point yeah. and we were able to get them for like $1.50 or something. Yeah, I but like I was going 10, through three strips. a day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. yeah so uh, that price point has come down, but now we have the Keto Mojo, which is actually uh, aligns more with our assays and, and it does the glucose ketone index that we can talk about. Uh, yeah, so I started doing that and I have the, when I started it within, I guess, five years after starting the ketogenic diet, I probably rapidly lost 10 to 15 pounds. And then my, my exercise and my lifts tank too, like I lost strength on bench press and not so much deadlift and squat, but I saw that, but I didn't really care that much at the time. 